And so I should be able to read this now. It's all in braille, but there is this note on the side. I don't like it when he tells me about her. It's none of my business what that woman, what she did or didn't do. I don't want to hear about it or think about it. All I know is I don't want to be here. Everywhere else is fine, just not here, not with them. Oh, what was that? Hmm. A fine porcelain teapot sits on the glass table accompanied by matching tear cups. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what that was. I'm worried about her pay. Well, maybe I should stay here. Hmm, I'll stay here this time. The tall golden candelabra shines bright, its surface reflecting the flame's glimmer. back inside. I should wait for Harpe inside. Ah, there we go. She's taking a while. Hmm. It's so warm in this room. I'm feeling sleepy. Oh, poor thing. Don't worry, my girl. We'll be safe from now on. Uh-oh. I shall take care of you. Sleeping Beauty. Hmm. Okay, so we do not want to stay there. But before we leave... Let's go back here. And choose the other option, see if it changes anything. Let's do... Where are we? We're in my home. I see. You live here all by yourself? Yes, I do. Although it does get quite lonely at times. Or pay? Yes? Oh no, I was just thinking it must be hard living alone. Oh, you're truly kind, miss. Ah, I just... Oh, butts, miss. True lady knows when to take a compliment. <laughs> Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, miss. Okay, so this time let's not drink the tea. Uh, don't drink the tea. Oh no, I'm fine, thank you. Is that so? I actually brewed that tea specially for you. Mm. Please don't make such a pained expression, my girl. It is fine, I'm not upset. I just hope the tea would be to your liking. If that's the case, I'll drink it. There's no need to force yourself, miss. Oh no, I insist. Thank you. Oh, okay, so you drink it anyway. Oh, I almost forgot.
everything all right? There's... what is it? Uh, no, it's nothing. What do you mean? It was nothing, I just... You just? It was just too hot, don't worry. I see. Okay. That doesn't really change anything. Time-based, huh? Oh, I should wait for Harpe. Okay, so it doesn't. You have to wait for him to make a noise. Ah, there it is. What was that? Okay, now let's leave it there. Worried. Stay here. Do not stay here. Go outside. Ah, that's where we came from. Your darkness. Except for the house. Where did that sound come from? I wonder if our pay's alright. Way is up. Hmm. Long staircase. The one door. That's it. Our pay? Close doors. Father, look! I drew this for you, do you like it? Yes, of course, now listen to here, my girl. Do you remember what I told you this morning? Yes, Father. You must not pester me tonight, as I will be busy attending an important meeting. Understood. Now resume your studying, you mustn't waste time doodling aimlessly. Yes, Father. Is there anyone else here? Hmm. Is anyone in there? Hmm. Murmurs of a crying girl can be heard through the door. It's so windy outside. Consumed by dark spots, the filthy tattered curtains hang heavily on the pole. The bust of an important looking man, his menacing, well defined features are deeply engraved into the marble. An array of several different alcoholic drinks rests upon a glass cart. Too dark. I'd say I can't see a thing over there. Oh, door. The clock's hands hang down loosely, weakened by the passage of time. by Gottfried August Berger. 
Liebiger. Betwang der Frang, what is on Flang by Immanuel Kant? There's an open journal on this desk. It was never my intention to break this family apart, but I can no longer bear it. This incident is nothing more than an unfortunate twist of fate, or so I've been told. Physicians, psychologists, holy men, no one has been able to help her. My wife's ailments aren't from this realm, and I, a mere mortal man, cannot cure her. No matter my efforts, or how much I have sacrificed for this family, it's all been for naught. I don't recognize my own daughter. I'm unable to deal with her outbursts. My son has become reclusive, introverted. His disdain for this family is palpable. To you I leave this will and final plea to look after my children after her passing. I shall write as often as I can. It's addressed to someone named Eleanor. Hmm. Sergeant Major Roman per Diherlidge, I hereby leave you this letter in regards of your daughter's behavior during my tutoring classes. I believe it has come to your attention that she is not in the most healthy of states. I would suggest you consult a doctor. Recently, she's been demonstrating... A bizarre tendency for violence which is reflected in her nervous outbursts during my classes. Things such as ripping pages off books, suddenly scribbling over her own notes, and throwing tantrums when asked to read have become the norm. However, as disturbing as these behaviors might seem, her true violent tendencies are aggravated to the point of ripping her own hair off during lectures and attempting to hurt herself with the quill. I myself have occasionally become the target of these hysterical behaviors, and that, sir, I refuse to tolerate any further. I am sending you this letter of resignation with the best regards, and wholeheartedly hope you will be able to find a capable tutor such as myself to... It ends here, the rest has been ripped off. A frog ruber by... Franklin Gablib Klopstock. Welcome, O Silver Moon, fair silent companion of the night. You flee? Hurry not. Stay, friend of thoughts. See, it stays. The cloud only billowed towards it. May's awakening is only more beautiful still, like the summer night, when the dew drops from May's locks, clear as light, and up to the hill it comes rich. You more noble ones, alas, solemn moss, already grows on your tombs. Oh, how happy I was, as I still saw with you the dawn reddened, the night shimmer. Memoir on Madness by Philippe Pinel. Can I read again? All right, so that's the same deal there. Hurted by rust and mold, the once fancy sulfa rests intact under dark stains. Tall white flowers rest untouched, each petal covered in a thick layer of dust. this? Max record 105. The clock's hands hang down loosely, weakened by the passage of time. These are all written in braille. Schwebe the Rosenrot by Die Brugger Grimm. Discipline and Understanding Children's Psychology by Alfred Everhard. Mm. 
is raw written in Braille. Use wrote in Braille. 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 This. There's a pile of letters on the floor. They all seem to be medical letters. After analyzing the patient's mental health these past few days, I can now securely state my diagnosis. It has come to my attention that the patient, at least I hear Lidge, has been having nightly visions and balance of bodily humors and melancholia. Such behavior is not harmful to other members of the subject's family, however, it is quickly wearing down the subject's health. The patient should spend their days at ease with moderate consumption of thin white wine, the practice of gentle exercise, warm baths, plenty of sleep, moderate carnal copulation, and exposure to soothing music. I shall pay the patient a visit a month from now to verify the progression of the symptoms. Hmm. Same thing? Yes. Rift painting stands tall despite its defaced canvas. Reddit Daylight. Such a depressing name. Rail. 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 This. The handwriting is a bit faded. Clavicula seminalis regis. This is Latin, isn't it? Hmm. Looks like a diary entry. Not I have encountered the same scenario yet again. Invading my dreams, that mysterious shadow taunts me to follow it along a never-ending staircase. Tonight, too, I stood silently resisting the shadow's sweet promises of salvation and freedom. Before tomorrow's dawning light, I shall no longer be here. This is awful. These look really old. There's a torn letter here. Oh. All of the above treatments have failed, leading me to send you this letter. Priest Johann Joseph Gassner, my family needs your help. She doesn't have much time left. Word of your success has reached me, and so I humbly ask you to visit my home and administer your treatment. It ends here. Our deepest Rex by Stephoscles. Rail. The really big Bible. The broken telescope rests on the table, its lens is completely clouded. Rail. This is What am I to do? Who am I to turn to? My beloved Elise. I don't have it in me to let you know or let our children know. Even if I were to tell you, you wouldn't even listen, would you? I'm leaving the children in my sister's care after winter passes. All I can do is leave you this letter I know you will not read. To let you know, I don't regret the time we spent together. And to promise you, I will do everything in my power to keep them safe. It's so dirty, I can't read the rest. Hmm, book fell. Can I read this thing? Can 
I don't think I can read that. What is this? Oh, a picture. Why am I in that photograph? Oh. What's going on? Hmm. And the clocks rang and stopped. So I have that thing here. An old photograph rests on the table covered with dust and cobwebs. See what's on the first one. I'm recording this. Give you my my children. A testimony of what I have brought upon of our lives. A being who's all of my beloved daughter's name. Everything mother could do for you. Hope is your pocket mirror, my girl. All that I can say Deepest regrets are now a burden to you. Know this voice. Hmm. Did I see this one? Did not. No, there's nothing to see anyway. Ah. Huh. Oh. Anything change with this? No. Too dark. Is someone there? Yes. Please, I need your help. I've been hearing strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need you to get the key to this room for me. Alright. Where is it? Of this riddle and you'll find it. Listen closely because I will, won't be repeating myself. Lurking in the shadows, lost in dismay, a golden radiance lies unscathed, awaiting the light of day. At dawn, shall the beast awake, guided by the northern star, you must advance. Drawn by cheerful tripping, hope always follows. In search of guidance, turn to the heartful gallows. Announced by the bells is your demise, should you not pray for eastern sunrise. The door opens as he draws near, silences your ally, clouded with fear. Wait, I don't understand. You have to hurry, now go. Hmm. Oh. Okay, then. Uh, Alright, so it's an immediate challenge. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Done. So... Okay, north. Chirping. Dang it.
north. Oh. Um. East? No. South? No. North. Okay. West? No. North. Door. East, no. Dang. Okay. North. West. North. Hmm. North. No. Bells. Ah, to the right. But I have to run. Okay. Up. Left, up, up, right, run, no, okay, I can't. Up. Left. Up. Up. Baby steps left. Uh, right. Ah. Right? Something under the rug. Ah. That was annoying. Is this? Rusty key. Consumed by dark spots, the filthy tattered curtains hang heavily on the pole. Okay, I was trying to look out the window, but that works too, I guess. <laughs> 